Hi there, my name is Andy McDougall, and I'm the inventor of the remote thing. As you see here, it's an attachment that goes on the bottom of your remote to keep it from ever sliding into the couch again. And it comes in regular size, fits most all remotes, or if you have the mini, like a lot of people have, uh, it comes in the mini. Now this idea came up when I lost the remote on the couch, went to lift up the heavy leather couch I have, threw my back out for, for a month. And I'm a carpenter, I need my back. So I started looking online for what can keep that remote out of the couch, because our couch just seems to suck up remotes. And they're all stupid ideas that, you know, mostly pouches and holders. Well, if I was awake to put it in a pouch, I would have put it on the coffee table. I need something that would keep it when you fall asleep and it slips out of your hand and goes into the couch. It keeps it out of there. So while I'm laying there uh, convalescing on the couch watching reruns of Adam's Family, the old Adam's Family, and I saw Thing, I said, well, if I had Thing, he'd hold the uh, remote. I thought, brainstorm. Let's put some fingers on the bottom of the uh, remote. It'll hold it in place. So I started uh, making molds using all various materials, all kind of weird designs. You know, four, first they started with legs. Uh, thought they'd be more stable. They weren't. Four legs. I started uh, two legs and then fingers and rubbery fingers, too, too soft, they'll, they'll just, they'll, they'll squish into the crack as well. And I, I came, I finally found the right substance. It's, uh, it's called Durameter uh, polyur polyurethane, polyurethane. And that uh, was the perfect, it's like a hard rubber, like a hard eraser. That means it's strong, you can sit on it, and uh, it won't break, it'll just uh, bend out of the way and then pop back into shape. So I found the right substance, but I uh, had no, I didn't know how to attach it. And you know, a lot of them are rounded, they got battery compartments, so maybe you have to take it off sometimes. And I thought, oh, I'll just put Velcro. Velcro did this flimsy, plus you gotta glue it on. Suction cups, sticky tape, glues of all kind. They just mess up your remote. So I was, almost gave up on, I figured there's no way to attach it the right, you know, because you can't screw it on there. Until I found this special putty that I'll keep secret. It's the only putty I found that it, it holds it. You, you could throw it up and down. But if you actually sit on it, it'll come. It can come off, which is uh, it's never happened yet since I put it on there. Because, but the putty comes right off. It stays clean. Now you put it on. Uh, so far, the only time we sit on it, it just bends a little bit, but it never uh, never comes off. You can see how strong it is. And you know, we we used to lose the remote once once a month, you know, then me and my wife together would lift the couch up, bend it over and she'd crawl under there and find it. Well, never happened in six months now and all my friends, I've made them for them and, they, and it looks like uh, it should go public. People need this. I'm sure there's a lot of throwing backs, a lot of people missing their remote when their favorite show's on. So I've come up with the right product, the right way to attach it. There's no other thing like it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, provide it in different colors if you want. I like just thing like the Adams family thing, just a skin colored. Uh, but I'll make it in any color you want. Here's Goldfinger. That's cool. Uh, purple, black, blue. Uh, Basically, and then I'm gonna make it also in glow in the dark, which there's a high-end premium glow in the dark paint. I'll put triple coat 
And all this will be with automotive paint, triple coat. I don't make anything half-ass. It's all, all uh, high quality. That's why it took so long to make the thing. It took, uh, I wasn't going to just make some piece of plastic that breaks or cuts your couch. So there it is. We would never have our remotes without the thing on it now. And I don't think anybody should. Um, I, I would hope you want to support this project and uh, look forward to hearing from you.